Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoom with Israeli News Live. And I wanted to give you guys an update on the asteroid situation that's going on and really kind of let you know just how serious this can actually get here. Uh, you're looking at an article here about NASA targeting uh, an asteroid, crashing a rocket into it there, um, uh, you know, just to test the planetary defense system. Now, this is going to be one for next year, but there's another one that NASA's talked about on November 23rd that they're going to take and shoot a rocket at. Again, another test. Now, these are what I have been told are cover stories because of something that we're doing up there in space that most of you are not even aware of. Uh, now, I'm going to get into it just a little bit. I did ask for an update on the November asteroids there uh, that are two of those that were to impact uh, the subsubduction zone off the coast of California, as well as the uh, uh, one near Puerto Rico. And um, uh, we'll go into that in just a little bit here. But this is even more alarming. Uh, we have been having success. I uh, will say that. This is a good news as well because of the two larger asteroids. Uh, our space defense uh, has, has had very good success in breaking up uh, a lot of these smaller asteroids that, that we're dealing with that's going to be coming here in November. See, late November, uh, if, you, if you know, it's already been reported on multiple sites there. There are larger than normal asteroids in the, uh, uh, oh, I forget the name of that, uh, that particular asteroid belt that we go through every year, but they've discovered some larger ones that we're going to be going by this year. This is where these two um well, the two asteroids that nobody wants to talk about that are endangering our Earth there, uh, not not a not in, in a case of a um, you know uh, you know annihilation type of event, but uh, but enough to cause some havoc to the United States uh, if they do hit these areas there. But on the other ones, that they have been having some good success. But I've been told that this is a cover story that they're doing here, especially the one on November 23rd, mainly because there is very rich minerals that have been discovered on some of these asteroids, and they've been trying to mine that off the asteroids. Yeah, believe it or not, we can land on an asteroid, just like in the movies, and actually mine things there. But it's a battle going on right now between China and the United States for those minerals. I don't know if Russia is involved, but I heard that uh, it's going to basically turn into a space war uh, between China and the United States on who gets the minerals. Because on one of these particular asteroids, there is so much gold on it that they say it eclipses anything that we have on the Earth or have ever had on the Earth. It is that much gold on that asteroid. And the Chinese are wanting to try to put that in an orbit around the Earth so they can continue to mine that gold on that asteroid. And, of course, we are also mining an asteroid uh, as we speak. And uh, just to show you how nutty things get uh, and how much greed, how much greed that, that there is for wealth, the Space Force, uh, that's, that's our, the unknown Space Force, the one that you guys are not told about, recently reported that there was, of course, an incoming uh, near-Earth object closer than the moon to the Earth, and it was a risk of our gravitational pull pulling that asteroid into the Earth and it hitting the Earth. The Space Force said that they had the ability to be able to break it up. It would not be a problem. They could use the railgun on the spacecraft there and break the asteroid up. Um, but because this particular asteroid had a very valuable mineral on it, and it wasn't gold, and of course a friend of mine could not remember which particular um, mineral that was on this particular asteroid that it had, uh, and the traje traje trajectory of the asteroid they determined was that it would hit the ocean. So they said, don't shoot it, don't break it up, we need the minerals off of it. Now, I don't, you know, I was told that it was not, you know, a majorly significant size that would cause any major damage hitting the ocean. In other words, it would not cause any significant uh, size tsunami. So I'm assuming probably the size of a car or something of that effect there. But it still, though, could affect it some, you know, land somewhere or could affect, uh, you know, ships that are in that region or wherever it was supposed to hit at. But because of the greed for money, they told the, our Space Force to stand down and let it hit the ocean. 
I mean, this has gotten really nuts. The other thing that, that our the, the, the greed for these uh, rocks with the minerals on them that they're directing the space for it to do is basically like shooting pool up in space, using smaller asteroids to bump the larger ones, trying to knock them in an orbit that would allow them to have a better mining as, uh, aspect for this particular asteroid. And as a result, they are majorly risking the Earth being hit by a large asteroid. In fact, that was one of the things that I was told why they wanted to come up with these news articles as a cover story. In the event one does hit the Earth, they've already covered their bases, right? Well, that's the idea anyway. Let me kind of show you what I'm talking about when I say that, because I believe there was one on November 23rd, 2020. 21 uh, a asteroid NASA. Let me just see if I can pull this up where that was. Uh, yeah, here we go right here. And, and I'm assuming this is for 2021. NASA DART mission will deliberately crash into an asteroid moon in the name of planetary defense. Uh, what do we have here? Yes, it has it right here. The DART mission or NASA's uh, Double asteroid redirection test will lift off at 12:20, or excuse me, 10:20 p.m. Uh, Pacific time on November 23rd aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Van Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. After launching in November, NASA will test its asteroid deflection technology in September of 2022 to see how it impacts the, the motion of near-Earth asteroid in space. But notice, November 23rd. They're doing this particular one. Why November 23rd? This is because something or other that we're doing up there, messing around with these asteroids coming in. And I have to be quite honest with you, friends. I cannot help but wonder when I was told about the asteroid that would hit the subsubduction zone and the possibility of the asteroid hitting near Puerto Rico, not hitting Puerto Rico, but off the coast of Puerto Rico. And I have no idea the size of that one there. I just was told that if it does hit, it would affect Florida and part of uh, Georgia and even possibly South Carolina. Now, not all of Florida would be devastated by it. So it must not be too big of a, of a rock there, right? But that's what I was told. It's kind of funny. We get this little dinosaur thing poking up there. Uh, you'll find out if you watch uh, our broadcast over on... Uh, over on uh, uh, Patreon that I'm putting together for the friends over there. So I'm going to be doing that in just a few moments. Anyway, it's kind of funny how they know what you're doing, right? Uh, <clears throat> so that's the cover story. And as I was told, I asked for an update on the asteroids for November, late November there, and I've never been given a date on that. I'm assuming that all this is related. And uh, but I was told that they will do uh, they will look into that and see if there's been any more success with them. Uh, but I, personally, I feel optimistic that they will have a success. I really believe that even as NASA is doing the cover story, just in case the asteroids hit the Earth, it could be, too, one of the reasons why they've shared that information with me on late November. Because it seems to be no coincidence, late November, November 23rd, NASA's doing the, uh, you know, going to hit an asteroid with a rocket there for a test purpose, right? And I've been told that we could have an asteroid hit the subsubduction zone off the coast of California. We could have an asteroid hit near Puerto Rico there. And tonight I was told that this is one of the main reasons for this cover story is because we're bumping around asteroids intentionally because of the greed for the minerals, specifically gold on one of the asteroids has more gold than our earth has ever even produced anywhere. Well, speaking of another thing, it's going to be another thing I'll be talking about over on Patreon tonight. It's about where is our gold? It's not in Fort Knox. I'm going to talk about that tonight, too. These are things that really don't matter, right? So I'd just like to share it with friends over there because they enjoy these things. Uh, listen, so 
I'm really wondering this whole thing about November. Because even the other asteroids that I was told about that could hit, I just cannot help but wonder. Yeah, there is a possibility that they could. That's a real possibility. But I have more of a suspicion. It's not because they're headed directly for us. I think it's because they know that the way they're hitting these, this one particular asteroid, they've probably been given projections by the scientists to say, if we bump this one here to get it to where you can mine the gold, there's a good chance it could knock this particular asteroid right into the subsubduction zone, and it could knock that asteroid there right into Puerto Rico, off the coast of Puerto Rico. I think this is what the real story is behind that. And, you know, and I'm glad we haven't got to that time frame as of yet. We're still a couple of weeks out. So is there a threat for late November? Sure there is. But is it a threat to where the entire time that asteroid's been pinning us the whole time headed straight towards Earth? I'm a little bit suspicious that it's not been because of that in the first place. I believe that what the real answer is, is because the asteroid could hit the Earth because of their greed for money and trying to mine the riches off a couple of asteroids that are loaded down with gold. That's, that's a, that, that is a shame. And if they do that and it does hit the Earth, one thing know for sure, well, I can't say no for sure because I have not been told that for sure. But I highly suspect that if we get hit in November, it's going to be because of some filthy, greedy elites up there that are bound and determined one way or the other to get their gold, their precious little gold, including the Chinese, mind you. It's not just the Americans. The Chinese elite as well up there trying to get the gold off of these asteroids that could care less about human beings on the face of the earth. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Very frustrating indeed, this information we're hearing. And listen, you friends that I have over on uh, Twitter there, I really want to thank you for the videos that you've been sending me, you know, about the things that go right there. Uh, I'm going to couple a lot of that information together. Some fabulous information, friends from all over the world, Netherlands, uh, United States, etc., uh, you're not going unnoticed. If, if, even if I haven't responded to you, you, your information is not going unnoticed. And we have several more doctors that we're going to be interviewing in the very near future, too. You'll want to catch that over there on iConnectFX.com. Yana is writing also um, um, newsletters on iConnectFX.com. All right. Now, let me just quickly, so you know how to get there. Uh, you know what? I'll tell you what. This video we did with uh, Jim, I'll put a link in the description of this video here just so you have a way to get to the channel. All right. Uh, or maybe let's just see here. Maybe I can back up to the channel itself. Um, uh, I don't know exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm not the best guy at this type of stuff there. Let me just hit home. See, it, no, it doesn't do it either. Videos. I'll, I'll do like I said there. I'll, I'll put one of the latest videos up there that we did uh, and share that with you guys because um, I don't know if you hit iConnectFX.com forward slash Israeli News Live if it actually brings you right to one of our videos. Uh, but they did, they're going to be adding some new features at our request, too. Uh, they did add one, though, that I thought was fascinating right here. This one tells you, by country, how many people view your channel. Uh, so when you hover it over, on that particular video, 34 people from Russia were listening in. Mongolia, one person. China, one person. Australia, 1,637. India, 102 people. Some places I was surprised about. Saudi Arabia, eight people from Saudi Arabia viewed our channel there. Can you believe it? Africa, Angola, seven. Uh, Tanzania, three people were viewing. There's not a country in South America that we didn't get views at. That was another fascinating part there. Argentina, eight. Brazil, 270. Uh, Bolivia, eight there. Peru, 14, uh, Colombia, 26, 6 in Venezuela. And uh, so we got to make sure we get some, some of these places in, in the names there. We were getting views all over Europe there, Poland, 49, 3 in Belarus, uh, Latvia, 9 even. 
uh, down in France, 134, Spain, 65, uh, Portugal, 95 in Portugal. Over in England, 1,851. And then we had uh, uh, Ireland, 258 people. So it's really amazing uh, some of the people, like I said, that are watching the channel there, just everywhere. Finland, 223. Uh, and also Sweden and Norway, just Fascinating little feature, you know, if you get kind of curious about things, you want to, you know, you just, I don't know what you can say about it, you know, just uh, kind of interesting to see that they put that on there. Uh, anyway, I'll tell you what, I'll do this one here with Ben, uh, Ben Marble there. I'll post that in the links for you there. And uh, like I said, though, Yana's doing newsletters there. So if you subscribe to iConnectFX.com, you'll get the newsletter. And I'll even resend that newsletter back out to you guys once again for the sake of you that are going to be subscribing uh, even now. I think that would really be uh, a blessing for many of you. Um, let me just see here. Whoop. Uh, I'm going to actually go back, click on a particular video there. I want to see. I know we're at like 4,000 viewers right now, or, or subscribers. And... Uh, let me just see if that changed very much. 4,158. So hopefully many of you guys will come on and join us there. Uh, Yano's newsletters are definitely worth it. Anyway, God bless you. Thank you for listening. I'm Stephen Benin with Israeli News Live.